Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be organizing my makeup drawer. So I thought I would take you along and give you a little glimpse into what it looks like to organize and clean out my makeup drawer. I'm also going to make a trip to Sephora to get a few more pieces um, because I'm overdue to add some new makeup to my lineup. I'm by no means an expert, but I do love makeup. I always have since I was young. So here we are. Let's do it. This is the state of my makeup drawer. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not very good. And I don't even have that much makeup. I also have my brushes over here. I've got all of these that I'm gonna clean as well, because I need to take care of getting those clean. I have not cleaned them for a while. I'm gonna go through everything, organize it, clean up the containers, throw out what's expired, and get to work. I've got like some empty old containers in here. So those ones need to go. So I go ahead and I start by taking everything out and doing an inventory of all that I have. So I look at everything and decide if it's old, if I need to toss it or what I need to do. So that's what I am doing right now. I don't have a lot of makeup, but what I do have is clean quality brand makeup like NARS and Glow Minerals. Those are a few of my favorite. This is my favorite blush, Orgasm. I also have uh, their contouring kit from Glow. That's that right there. And then I have a few other contouring kits that I didn't do a very good job of showing you, but that I just got from a local uh, drugstore. I also just got introduced to a new company called Unique, and they have a very clean line of makeup and skincare products. I am gonna do a future video about the products that I've just gotten introduced to and a little review on them, possibly a little makeup tutorial. So stay tuned for that. So I'm almost finished purging the drawer. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw out products that I don't use, products that I've had for a long time and I know I never will. So there's no need to hang on to them. The biggest part of organizing for me at least is consolidating everything. So getting rid of what you don't need anymore and only hanging on to pieces that you know you'll use. That's the best way to keep things simple and easy for organizational purposes. I literally have four almost all used old bronzers that I don't know why I'm hanging on to them. Clearly this was a well overdue or much overdue cleaning session, organizing session, which might I add is my favorite thing to do. I organize for fun. I will organize people's homes and spaces in their homes for free. I do it for fun. So, hey, everybody's different. So that's my weirdness. Anyways, so I need to get a garbage bag and I will start chucking some of this out. All right. Got my essentials, garbage bag. Let's do this. One, two, three, four. Nasty old sponge, five. Q-tip, six, seven. This, I'm throwing out because I'm not gonna use it. And what's that? I don't know what these are. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Garbage! Every piece of makeup that I'm taking out of here, I'm gonna also wipe down. I'm going to use paper towel. Just using this cleaner here. This stuff's really good.
clean makeup drawer. Got face products here, blush, bronzer, setting powder, eyeshadows, more eyeshadows. I should probably switch these around, but that's fine. Eyeshadows, beauty blender, lip glosses, lipsticks. Then I have my eyelashes that I ever wear. Now I need to organize this. I'm gonna organize all this and make this all pretty. Okay. Now I'm on to the brush cleaning duty. So I'm gonna go ahead and wash all my brushes and then I'm going to, going to organize this with all my different mascaras and eyeliners and lip liners. That will go in here and as long, uh, that will go in here along with all my brushes. So that's what's next, stay tuned. need to find a container for my dermaplaning little things whatever they're called so I'm gonna organize all these shelves here and this medicine cabinet shelf as well it's not for medicine I'm gonna use it for storage for like my skincare and extra products like that I also have a little cupboard down here where I have some extra supplies so i might actually move some of these things up there but i'm probably going to keep just the hair stuff down here and then this is like extra toiletry stuff for um, traveling and extra stuff for just at home like toothpaste and deodorant and such that's all we got that's all she wrote folks i want to optimize this area up here so that i can have a nice functioning space with all my self-care skincare, makeup, all the things to take care of this, this whole thing. Gonna wash my makeup brushes and go through all my other skincare stuff. So let's do this. So this is my jojoba oil. These are some of my unique products that I've been using. This one is a vitamin C serum. And these are some little, um, Concentrated vitamin C beads. This is some of my old ZO stuff, pore refiner. There's a lip mask in here and also a um, resurfacing mask. So that'd be good. I also use these hyaluronic acid um, self tanning drops. So those I use with my cream, I mix it. This is a salve that I've made. So I'll just keep that there. I don't know where else to put it. So I need to get some more stuff. This lady needs to get some more, some more shing, some more tings by my side. So I just put some of my hair care products up here because um, I have all this space and I wasn't using it. This is my, um, what I tint my eyebrows with. I've got some random extra products that I don't use. Some more random eye masks, masks, skincare. Skin care, hair care. I'm gonna put some more hair stuff up there because it's just too tall. So, so far I have this organized. I've got my mascara and my eye products here. So eyeliners, this is lip liners. These are for eyebrows or eyelashes and then eyebrow pencils and um, serums, brow stuff, boom, boom, eyelash stuff, boom, boom. And then back here, these three, oops, one, two, three, I'm gonna put my brushes.
we have the brushes drying over here so they will be ready tomorrow morning nice and dry and then i can put them in here so here is the end result i really hope you guys enjoyed this organizing and cleaning of my makeup drawer please like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this and we will see you guys next time